the day already today we're getting sh done so basically what's about to happen is that we are getting started on painting baby's room we had went to target the other day and got some target brand paint which is called divine color i'll show you what it looks like in a minute but uh we had took all her stuff out her room also there is stuff down the hallway i don't know if you can see but whatever and we are just gonna prep everything this is gonna be our first time actually painting a room fingers crossed that we don't fluff up anything i'm excited shouldn't be too bad let's just see what we can do david's been all over the place all over today so he already tired himself out that's why he looks like a pancake all right so it's been probably a, a couple of hours since i last checked in with you guys we already had to do a store run because we ran out of the painter's tape to edge off the walls as you can see that's what david's doing up there finishing up this little last trim so we can go ahead and get things started while he's doing that i'm gonna go ahead and put the paint in the bucket we already washed out this bucket that's just old stuff i don't know it don't matter the paint that we end up getting was the paint from target really only because um we had gift cards and stuff like that but apparently this brand divine color is by val valspar mm -hmm. Valspar. It's like one of their like luxury brands, I suppose. I don't know. This is the color that we're going with. It's just slightly darker than what we have right now. I'm kind of excited because we decided to drop this gold dust inside of it. I guess it gives it like a little sparkle on the walls, which I think is pretty different. I haven't seen nobody done that before. Have you? Nope. Yeah, so I'm really hoping that it comes out good regardless it's staying so <laughs> it is what it is i never thought that this is the direction we're going to end up going because we always thought we was going to have like a gray room and that looks like not to be the case so i think it has a lot to do with the fact that the room is a lot smaller than we thought it was when we started to put like the crib and everything up, the room caved in really quickly. When you have dark colors, it makes the room small. So that is also another reason why I kind of wasn't for the gray. So wish me luck, but I'm about to dump this paint in here and dump the gold dust in there. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. Well, I just opened this. And I didn't expect to see this color. I will assume that you just have to mix it, but if you got this paint, you probably equally as startled as me, child. At least it don't smell like your stereotypical paint. All right, so I have finally mixed the colors together. I, I put the two in this bucket and that made it a lot easier to kind of mix that pinky red color that you see right here and as you can see the color it looks well on camera looks exactly the same but in person it is slightly darker and probably with two coats it'll probably be a lot darker but i can tell regardless that this is more premium paint <laughs> than what they used on our walls <laughs> Of course. <laughs> yeah. Anything's better than what they use on the Yeah. The paint that they use on these homes nowadays is so cheap. So, either way, this room is probably going to look like the best in the house. <laughs> so, I have the glitter dust. And I'm about to pour this in. So, yeah. Is this a gallon? Is each of these a gallon? Both of them together are a little bit more than a gallon. What did it say? Put a... Uh, one package per gallon. It says one package per gallon adds a subtle glimmer. Oh, well, add both on that. And we'll add subtle glimmering highlights in medium to dark colors. Two packages per gallon will show more highlights in lighter colors. Recommend two packages per gallon. Yeah, go ahead and do two. So. This is what the dust is looking like. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, you didn't shake it in? Oh, you didn't open it yet? No. Okay. <laughs> he was okay. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. Ooh. Look at the dust. So pretty. Gold. Gold dust. Like the rest of them. Mm-hmm. That looks like a lot. I know it looks <laughs> like a lot. But I guess once you mix it in... You want to try mixing the first one and then? No, I just want you to do all of them at once. Okay. <laughs> well, ain't no going back now. Okay. All right. Second pack. Ooh, shake it up. Shake it up. Ooh. Ooh. It's dirty. Shake it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't want it all over my hands because it's going to be all over my body. It's probably going to get all over us anyways when we start this painting. I already started, like, getting paint on it. Got that paint dripping all over my body. Mm. What song is that? Sweat dripping all over my body. Sweat dripping all over my body. Nelly. Oh. Why you sound so disappointed? What happened to Nelly? Last I heard, he got in trouble for having drugs on his bus or something like that. Last time I knew, he got his teeth fixed. That sounds shady. To me. I know his teeth were bad. He just had a little. Yeah, situation. Mm hmm Oh, second bag. You ready? Oh, you already poured it in there? No. Okay. I was trying to get it down at the bottom. Alright. Alright. It's like a big mountain of glitter in there. Yep. And this thing is expensive too. What it was like nine dollars a pack? Mm hmm Yeah, it ain't exactly. cheap. You lucky, cause you know I like makeshift. I would put some eyeshadow up in here, but I didn't <laughs> want to chance it and then it not work out right. They say that this one is made for the paint. Yeah, it's made for paint, so I didn't want to chance it. You know, some things you just gotta, you just gotta do. Bite the bullet. Yeah, bite the bullet. So let's get the stirring. Hopefully, it just doesn't sink down to the bottom. I know. That's what I'm trying to stir it good. Did the instructions say you have to stir it for a long time? No. <laughs> it just said, let us know now. It says start with one package and pour slowly into the center of the paint. Avoid pouring all at once. <laughs> Damn. So we fluffed that up. So let me just stir it a little bit longer. <laughs> As you can see, at least it's two different colors. I hope you can see that. Yeah, we back. It's been probably another hour or so. But we, for the most part, have finished the edging. So thank God the color is different. <laughs> There is color, so there will be a difference. We just basically cut out all the edges to where it'll make it easy. Use this roller, basically, to make the rest of the job go by faster. Even though we gotta eventually re-edge again for our second coat, but we are just doing first coats right now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling and getting life together. All right, sorry the camera warming up, but we got one wall down. There's going to be like little spots that look like it's missing, but those are spots that we ran over twice. So we're just going to wait until the second coat to really mess with it, but I think I like it. <laughs> oh, babe dying over there. <laughs> Woo. Got a little too close. Got a little too close. <laughs> How you liking it? It's good. You think? I see the sparkle. You made the right choice? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. You can't see the sparkle right now on camera, but uh, trust me, the sparkle's there. Especially when we put it on second coat, I reckon it'll get even better. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what it's starting to look like. All right, so it's been probably two hours or so since I last checked in. I don't know. I am getting messy, but let me just show you the progress of how things are looking. We just now finished uh, the first coat 
it is 10 13 at night and you have to let the paint sit for like four hours but it's definitely gonna be a day two project it's a lot more exhausting than i thought it would be but you just gotta kind of persevere and we only got one more day of it so <laughs> I don't really have a choice. We're in it to win it, but I'm loving the way it looks. Like, loving it. And hopefully we can see the sparkle tomorrow. I think we did pretty good to not be painters, but yeah, I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> good morning. So today is the next day and it is time to at least try to get some of the stuff done as far as painting in the room. It is dark. Hold on, let me turn on light. Uh, yeah, so walking back over here, as you can see behind me, the first coat has dried. It is looking pretty good. Let me show you guys. I guess let me show you over here. I had put the soft box in here last night to try to see, but this is what the first coat is looking like. As you can see, it's a little splotchy or whatnot. I'm hoping that we can get over some of these spots by actually putting the second coat. The paint brushes was acting a little bit funny towards the end, but you know, it still looks pretty good, but we definitely need the second coat. I put on the same outfit I had on yesterday because I'm not gonna ruin two outfits. Like, why would I do that? So I got my ice. <laughs> And David is at work, and if I'm not done, then he'll just jump in whenever you get in. But it's about 1.54. So let's see how much I can get done in that time. So I got this bag. I, this is the bag. I don't know if I explained that yesterday. But I put this in the refrigerator last night and wrapped it up in a bag because someone said on a painting tip video, if you put paint brushes and all that stuff inside of a plastic bag and put in the refrigerator, you don't have to wash your paint brushes. So let's hope that is true. And then I put a little saran wrap over this. I hope this really had made the paint not go bad. Still looks pretty good. All right. Let's see if it saved it. Oh, it actually worked. Cause you know, I usually dried up paint brushes. Uh, they are really stiff. Clearly it's not, it's not stiff. So it worked. Mm. All right, so I'm just going over the edges and I take the brush, dip it in a little bit of paint, dry it off a little bit. And just really try to get these corners because the roller can't reach this so it's just really <laughs> repainting the wall so I can't really paint it well back and forth while I'm holding the camera but you get my drift just cutting these corners as well as possible back and forth and try to blend it in it's probably been about two hours since I last checked in and I'm down a wall and a half. So if you look over here, this is what the wall is looking like. I think it looks pretty good. You can't really see the sparkle right now, but at this point, I do not care because, child, the amount of work <laughs> to paint is ridiculous. I don't know if I said this before, but ain't no way in hell. I'm about to paint this house like ain't no way in hell like it's worth the money to make somebody else pay it because paint it because it's just not happening it's just tedious and I think with all the projects I've been doing lately in the last few months I'm just like done <laughs> I keep saying I'm done with projects and then I end up with another project so this is definitely gonna be it for me <laughs> I'm about to take a break and come back in and start in a minute all right, you guys. Y'all, I can't even talk to. I think I am done. I completely ran out of paint. I did everything I could do at this point. If you see little lighter areas and like little touch up parts or whatever, I'm gonna let this dry and pray to God that we don't need to do anything else and that it's done. Completely exhausted, but I'm completely proud of myself because 
I did all of this by myself to do this in four hours by myself when it took us three hours to do it together <laughs> I would say it's a set so I'm about to go eat some cereal and some other food and I'm gonna just stuff my face he should be here soon so I guess I'll wait until I get his reaction but otherwise you girls just done for the day and I seriously need a bath because I smell like 10 people yeah I don't know if this is gonna be it for the nursery probably not because i gotta show you the end result party tomorrow or whatnot or later on tonight so we shall see but if not otherwise then thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one